Is the lift coming? I don't know. Earlier I could push this up and now I can't. Thought about the experience of the Strider minigun blasting through the walls and floors of the parking garage while hunting the player, but we weren't sure we would be able to deliver destructible cover until around six months prior to shipping. To address this, we designed the destructible cover to visually communicate that it was being broken down prior to actually fracturing and breaking. Initially, the cover would look like an unremarkable piece of concrete or other building material, but when it took sufficient damage, it would start to visibly crack and throw off dust particles. When the same piece of cover took further damage, it would then fracture into pre-cut physics objects and generate more dust and debris particles. Through playtesting, we determined how much damage the cover should be able to take before breaking down and forcing the player to move. In the end, the destructible cover system allowed us to deliver on our goal of giving players the impression that the Strider was capable of tearing through the parking garage with its minigun as it pursued them. In this area of the map, we began hearing from some playtesters that they found the minigun firing monotonous. Originally, the gun would fire at a set rate, regardless of the player's behavior. To address the monotony, we made several improvements to the Strider AI running just the minigun. The minigun will fire if it sees the player, but take a moment to acquire them. Play an acquired sound to warn them they have locked on, and then stitch the bullets towards the player in its first volley. 
the minigun volleys themselves were broken up to become more staccato, with random intervals in between volleys. If the player ducks behind cover, the strider will keep firing where it last saw the player for a short period. These changes to the minigun behavior eliminated the monotony and gave players the impression that they were fleeing a living creature. To keep the strider engagement interesting throughout the level, we knew that we wanted to challenge the player's understanding of what the strider was capable of. We identified this upcoming room as a space where most players felt they understood the strider's capabilities and built this next beat to surprise them. To create the door frame bash moment, we used the strider's animation to drive an offline destruction simulation that could be played back by the game engine in real time. We coupled this with particle effects and physics impulses on interactive physics objects in the room to make the player feel unsafe. To fully sell the idea that the Strider has been searching for and has found the player, we we'll gave the Strider a moment to pause after tearing away the wall to look at the player before it started to fire again. And maybe I can grenade the guy this time. Oh, 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 oh,
Playtesting the Strider encounter, we learned that players enjoyed fighting a challenging enemy but responded negatively if they took damage in a way that seemed unfair. To address this, we used audio to communicate the state of the Strider. For example, when the Strider did not have line of sight to the player, it would emit a periodic hunting sound. This sound was meant to communicate to the player that they were currently safe, but that the Strider was still there. Once the Strider had seen the player, it would switch to its chasing state and make corresponding chasing sounds. When the Strider was ready to start firing at the player, it would emit a target acquired sound before firing. Players quickly learned this pattern of sound cues and no longer complained about being caught unaware of the Strider's targeting state. again. Thank <laughs> you. 
stuck on the healer. What do you call this thing? And I could not get back in time to here, to this little corner, because I got stuck on this. That sucks. Uh, please tell me I saved a little further this time. Do, 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 do. And good thing this game is on an SSD, because I would hate to spend a long time. <laughs> We needed to familiarize the player with the Strider's Gauss Cannon firing sequence, so they'd be able to recognize it when they saw it again later in the map. This particular area of the map went through a lot of iteration, as we searched for ways to reliably place the player in the right spot, at the right time, looking at the right thing, the Gauss Cannon, as it charged up and fired. To achieve this, we ultimately settled on using a two-handed roller door. It requires the player to stand in a specific position and orientation, and occupies their hands so we know they aren't teleporting or interacting with anything else. We even know the precise moment that the door clears their eyeline, so we can be assured that they're going to see what we want them to see. central Big theme gun. of this Up map ahead. was the I'm lion and the mouse, the I encounter with the strider you. ended at the When the central theme of this map was the lion and the mouse, the encounter with the strider ended at this point. The strider simply exited off into the sunset. We intended for the strider to reappear in a subsequent fight, perhaps even attacking the combine alongside the player but this idea was only pursued briefly before being cut. The problem was that playtesters felt cheated that they didn't get to destroy the Strider after being hunted and harassed by it for so long. In the final map, once the player steps into the rat maze below, the Strider reappears and begins hunting the player again. 
Because Alex does not possess any weapons that can damage the Strider, we explored a variety of ways that the player could take out the Strider using something found in the environment. These included ideas like triggering missiles on a downed Combine helicopter, using a Combine mortar emplacement, or kicking off some type of physics event to sweep the Strider's legs out and kill it. We built prototypes of many of these ideas, and eventually narrowed down to the mounted gun solution that shipped. It was simple, repeatable, and was one of the easier solutions to train under fire. player to end the encounter by killing the Strider in a dramatic boss fight using a weapon found in the environment. This meant that we had to introduce a new weapon which was more powerful than the player's equipped weapons and which had to remain in the environment after the fight. A mounted gun on an abandoned Combine vehicle made the most sense, and after some initial tests with the downed Combine helicopter repurposed from Half-Life 2, we settled on the armored personnel carrier since one had already been built for use in another section of the game. Since the gun mechanism itself would be seen for the first time while under pressure from the Strider, had to have an aiming and firing mechanism that the player would understand immediately. We prototyped a variety of designs, from a machine gun that auto-fired as soon as the player grabbed the handle, to a gun that fired a sticky bomb that had to be detonated by the player after it had hit its target. The auto-firing machine gun was too simple to use and lacked dramatic effect, and the extra interaction required to detonate the sticky bomb was too much to teach the player while under duress. We settled on a design that requires one hand to aim and another to both reload and fire requiring the player to push the firing mechanism all the way forward to reload was necessary to prevent the player from firing too rapidly. The gun's shell reloading animation is directly driven by the player's motion and communicates to the player that they must move their hand all the way forward to reload before being able to pull it back to fire. Alright Alex, let's 
tractor beam over there looks like it'll get you up to... Whoa, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, throwing off a lot of interference. I might not be able to talk to you in there. No, probably not. So, uh, this is it. Yeah. And then you'll come out with Gordon. They can sound, so everything is gonna be... Everything will be fine, Russ. Talk to you soon. Russell, stop her! What? Why? Oh.